Today I want to show you how to run a Raspberry Pi gaming console, RetroPie, on a portable battery pack on a portable screen, touch screen. This is a standard 7 inch touch screen, kind of like what you'd find in a Kindle Fire. And you can get these on Amazon. Raspberry Pi 3 loaded with RetroPie with a 16 gigabyte card and a pocket juice battery charger for cell phones, tablets, things like that. For this project, you will need an HDMI cable. You'll need a couple of USB cables, uh, USB to USB micro. And you'll also need a gamepad. So standard HDMI installation in the Raspberry Pi, and it goes into the side of this touchscreen monitor. You'll also notice that there are two different USB micro ports. One of them is to power it for a touchscreen, and the other one is just to power it no touchscreen. So for RetroPie. You can't use touchscreen. You can use it with Raspbian or other operating systems, but it doesn't work on RetroPie. So we're gonna use this one. Now it's important to note that I, while I did plug it in to the touchscreen in the bottom port, which is just to power the screen, I actually plugged it into the Raspberry Pi USB port. It doesn't matter which one, but the USB port provides enough power to power your screen. I'll show you. Make sure your gamepad is plugged in to the USB port. Finally, plug in your power port to your pocket juice and give it some power. And immediately, it comes to life. RetroPie. So, here we have a Raspberry Pi being powered off of a pocket juice. According to the box, this will charge up my iPhone 6S Plus four times, four or five times, from 0%. I tried this last night, and I have a... It was running for hours, and it was running even until today before it even lost one of these blue LED indicators, which means it stayed above 75% power the entire time. So, there you have it. Happy gaming.